Hi there, everyone. This is See the Waves, where we help you learn Elliott Wave in order to see the trends in the market. Now, in this video, I would like to cover the Elliott Wave labels in the TradingView platform. Uh, if we go out and take a look inside the TradingView platform, and within this little pattern icon on the left-hand side, uh, there are several labels that show up uh, that are Elliott Wave related. Now uh, we've got Elliott Impulse Wave, Elliott Triangle Wave, Elliott Triple Combo Wave, Elliott Corrective Wave, and then also Elliott Double Combo. Okay, so these are all Elliott Wave Theory type of labels. Now you'll notice that there are two types of labels, generally speaking, we can put these into two types of buckets. We got uh, one bucket, which is numbers, one, two, three, four, five. And then all of these other four icons have letters in them. A, B, C, D, E, W, X, Y, X, C, A, B, C, W, X, Y. So if we separate these out between letters and numbers, then we're in essence breaking out the, the labeling into two different types of waves. We got those waves, which are impulses or diagonals. Those are gonna use the numbers, one, two, three, four, five. All of the other letters, that's gonna indicate that it's a corrective wave. Now, some of the impulse waves, or all of the impulse waves, all have five waves. Some of the corrective waves have five waves. The triangle, and then also the triple combo, also have five waves associated with them. So this is where things can get a little hairy with an Elliott wave, because how do you know the difference between a triple combo, a triangle, and an impulse or a diagonal? Like, they all have five waves. Now we cover these types of things inside uh, See the Waves LA Wave course. But for the sake of this video, I just wanna share with you kinda of how these, these uh, labels are broken down into their bigger buckets and uh, how you can read them on a chart. So if we take a look here at a chart, I've got a couple of different wave patterns. All right, this yellow one is five waves. This red one is three waves and this red one is five waves. So I've already broken it out. The yellow represents the impulse. And so if we come over here and we click on the impulse wave, and then if I draw it, starting at the low, up to the high of each wave. And so that's one thing that you'll notice about Elliott Wave Theory is that we label our waves at the end of the wave. So sometimes you'll see you know, somebody look at, uh, let me just use this red one as an example. Uh, sometimes you might see somebody call this like wave one, and then they'll come over here, and then they'll call this wave two. You notice they're, they're putting the labels right next to the wave. And in Elliott Wave Theory, we place the labels at the end of the wave. And so this wave one, or let me go back to the white example here, this wave one represents this whole move from the beginning of the white wave to the end where the one is. And then wave two starts at the end of wave one and finishes where we have the label for wave two. So wave two moves in the opposite direction of wave one. So uh, that's how we place our labels at the end of the waves. So that's your impulse. Uh, that, that also is a diagonal wave. Now within Elliott Wave Theory, there's a slight difference between an impulse and a diagonal wave, and that's beyond the scope of what I wanna do within this video. If you like what you see here, go ahead, press the like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on all notifications. That way you'll be notified of future videos. Uh, but let's check out these other labels. Um, actually, let me get these out of the way. Uh, let's check out the Elliott Wave Triangle. It's also five waves, A, B, C, D, E. Now that's this guy over here, okay? And the triangle starts, and remember we're putting our labels at the end of the wave, so it's gonna go something like this. Uh, another cool feature that you may have noticed that I'm doing here within Elliott Wave Theory is that you can come out here and you can change the color of uh, the labels. You can change them to gray, white, red, green, you know, whatever color looks good on your chart. Uh, also, another thing that I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna change the degree of trend. Uh, I'm gonna change it just so it's a little bit easier to read. Okay, so we're using 
letters on the impulse. This one's, uh, I'm sorry, numbers on the impulse. This is a triangle, so it's going to have letters. Now this guy here, uh, three wave move, if we come over here and if we take a look, uh, three waves could be Elliott wave correction ABC, or it could be an Elliott double combo WXY. So in either situation, you would activate the tool, and then you could begin counting by going A, B, and then C. Let me change that to white. Uh, we could also come out and we could call it a WXY. Now within Elliott wave theory, there is a difference between A, B, and C and WXY. Again, it's beyond the scope of this course, but, uh, but there, there is a difference and, and I can teach you how to distinguish the difference between those. At the end of the day, there's the result of the WXY and the ABC is the same. So if you were to label your charts ABC or WXY and somebody else labels it WXY, the result of that opportunity or that wave, it, they all are going to finish up in the same place. Um, they're all going to have a similar resolution. One just might extend a little bit further than the other. Uh, and then the triple combo is uh, basically a, a W, X, Y, X, Z combination. Uh, you're, you're probably going to get a really large overlapping wave, you know, something that looks like this. Uh, let me show the actual wave pattern on this one. So W, X, Y, X, Z. So that's um, the labels and how you apply them to the, LA, uh, to the chart using TradingView. Now there's one other topic that I want to cover, and that is the different degrees of trend. So within Elliott Wave, um, and let's start with the numbers, the impulses and the diagonals, I've got this labeled as one, two, three, four, five. Now if you come down into the edit tool, uh, which is the little settings button, it pops open this box. Now we can change the color, you know, we can show the wave or not. So if I turn this off, uh, it goes back to that yellow I had underneath. If I turn it on, then it basically shows where that wave is. So that's a real neat feature. Uh, but this degree of trend. Okay, degree of trend is similar to um, the time frames of the chart. Minuscule, submicro, those are at the bottom. Um, you probably can't see them on the screen. Micro, submenuet, those are the smaller degrees of trend. Uh, millennium, submillennium, grand supercycle, supercycle. Uh, I, I don't use those at all, but they do represent, uh, to a rough degree, the time frame of the chart. If I'm using a one hour chart, then a lot of times I'm going to come out here and I'm going to use submenuet. And uh, notice that it still keeps this as one, two, three, four, five, but it uses Roman numerals. And then the next degree higher, minuet, is the same Roman numerals but also includes a parenthesis around them. And then Minuet uh, puts a circle around them. So these are, these are different, these are ways to associate wave labeling within the family, kind of group them together, categorize them, the different waves as a family. Because it's possible that we might have a situation where, you know, we get a really long, third wave like this. And so therefore, the way that we would want to label that is within that third wave, we're going to see five waves unfold. And we need to label these using different families, different groups, different categories. And so this is, uh, this is why you have the different degrees of trend. They're like different, um, different time frames of charts. Now you've got that on both the letters and you've got it also uh, on the numbers as well. So we can come out here and we can change the degree labeling, you know, to have circles around them, parentheses. Um, you, if you go higher in degree, then you're gonna get capital letters versus small letters. Um, so that's, that's the difference between the letters uh, is capital, small, parentheses, um, and circles. And so that's just to denote the, uh, the difference now, one last thing that I want to share with regards to the Elliott Wave labels in the TradingView charts. Now, these are really neat functionality that the TradingView charts has, and it has this on all of your indicators, where you can come out here and you can establish 
what time frame of chart you want these indicators to appear on. So for example, I'm currently on a, a daily chart for Bitcoin, just to use the screen space. Now, if I uncheck this box, it will turn off those labels for the triangle. They're still visible on the other time frames of charts, but they're not gonna be visible on the daily chart. And uh, so that's one way to help organize your charts is to use that visibility feature uh, within the settings of that particular function. Now there's another, um, another neat feature here off on to the right hand side of the screen and uh, it's an object tree. And uh, I'll probably go more into this into another video. Actually, I probably need to um, just because uh, it's another cool organizing tool uh, that I've recently discovered. I love using this. Um, this is what helps make um, trading view appealing to me and using it for Elliott Wave in that I can come out here and I can uh, group my labels together and give that group a name. So I could say like, you know, this is my, uh, you know, daily chart labels. And then I can come in here and I can group, uh, group those together and turn them on and turn them off all at the same time. So uh, that's all I've got for you today in this video. And I've got more Elliott Wave educational videos coming out. Uh, if you want to see Elliott Wave in action, make sure you check out the analysis videos too. And uh, I want to wish you all the best of luck in your trading. Stay tuned for the future educational videos that are coming up. We will talk to you soon. Bye now. Thank <laughs> you.